Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review on this Power XL Grind and Go Plus coffee maker. So I purchased this at Walmart for about $70. Okay, so we can use fresh coffee beans or we can use our own ground coffee if it's already ground, either one. Okay, so we got a water reservoir and we've got, lift this up here, this is where you're going to pour the water and whatever amount of water you put back here, when we press one of the brew buttons, it's going to brew that entire amount. We can brew up six ounces, up to eight, uh, 16. We've got two buttons here. So the first button is the power button. So you're going to turn the unit on first. Then you're going to press, this is if you want to grind your coffee beans and do a brew. And this is if you have pre-ground coffee already in there and you don't want the grinder to come on. Now let's take a look up here. This is where the grinder is. You're just going to rotate this to the unlock position and this will come down. So here we have the grinder. You're going to have this little handle here. You're going to pull this up. And we've got this basket. So there's the grinder. It's a chop type of grinder. Now be careful. That is a little sharp. So you're going to put your coffee beans into here. Then this goes into this brew basket. Once the coffee beans are in, then you got to put the, the grinder on top of the coffee beans. Underneath here, this is what it looks like. That's just a little plastic thing. The coffee's going to come out. There's no way of stopping it. It's just going to, it will drip out. Now you don't have to use co uh, whole coffee beans. You can use already ground coffee, like for a normal coffee maker. You can just put it right here. You still have to put this in here, but when we press this button, it won't activate the grinder. It'll just um, the, direct the hot water over here and brew the coffee. But if we press this button, it first grinds it, and then it lets the hot water go over it, so it's an all-in-one start to finish with this button. Now, it does come with this scoop. The scoop is just two tablespoons, so if you lose it, you can just go by tablespoons. Now, for eight ounces of coffee, they want one of these scoops, so one scoop of coffee beans in here. That's like two tablespoons of coffee beans. And so I measured the scoop. It comes out to about 11 grams of coffee. So it does come with a 16 ounce travel mug. It's got this lid, it just pops on and off. It's got an opening. You can brew right into that travel mug. It does have a tray and we can put a coffee maker there also, or a coffee cup right there. Now we can add up to four scoops. If we wanna do the full 16 ounces, it's a really strong coffee, but you can put four scoops. That's the maximum amount. So that's like four scoops is like eight tablespoons. And so you can vary that anywhere in between. And it even talks about, so one scoop, you could put eight ounces as a regular cup of coffee. Two scoops in eight ounces is a very strong cup of coffee. So I put two scoops in here. Again, you got to put it in this filter basket and you got to kind of manage this grinder in there. You're going to have to kind of move the coffee beans. It goes in real easy, but if it's kind of full, you may have to kind of wiggle it around to get it around those coffee beans. And you can see, it really just kind of fits, it just kind of sits on there. I do find you have to kind of shake it a little bit to kind of get it to, to seat all the way. Now we're gonna come up here again, start at the unlock position. There is a little line right here. Unlock and it's not very much, rotate it to there. Okay, so let's do some measuring for travel mugs. I got the brew basket in. To the bottom of the brew basket, it's about five and a half between five and a half and five and a quarter. With this little tray down, oh, you're looking at about three and a half. So here I got like a standard coffee mug. You're gonna to wanna to use, put the tray up and use it that way. Again, we've gotta regulate how much we pour in there. It's gonna brew that amount each time. So I'm gonna go eight ounces right there. Now you simply can come up here, hit the power button. That turns it on, there's a little blue light. Now I'm gonna hit the grinder button. So it starts the grinder right away. It's gonna stop the grinder automatically and start back up. Okay, then it stops. Now it's going to start heating the water. Okay, so it does three grinds. It pauses in between each grind, and now it's starting the coffee maker. The grinds took about 30 seconds all total. 
Now that is a reusable filter so that you are going to have a little bit of sediment in your coffee. Normal drip coffee makers, they use paper filters and that's why you don't have sediment in your coffee. But I think it does add a little bit of flavor to the coffee when you have just a little bit of sediment. Okay, so the coffee coming out the bottom is about 143. Okay, so we're coming up on three minutes total. And we're it's finishing up. You know, the coffee's coming out of there. You end up with a glass of coffee, cup of coffee, about 141, 142. Now it will shut off automatically. Okay, so it does beep at us right about the four minute mark to let us know that it's done. Okay, so let's have a taste. Again, be careful, it's very hot. Okay, that's a very strong cup of coffee. Okay, so I don't drink my coffee black. I did have to add a little bit of creamer and sugar. Now, it tastes really good. Um, it, it's not a really, really super hot cup of coffee, but it does taste really good. Okay, so now let's go over cleanup. We're gonna rotate this. So these parts are dishwasher safe, but you do have to get the, the ground coffee out of there. So you're gonna open this up. Again, be careful, this is really hot. So there's what that did. So let's set the grinder over here and we've got the filter basket. Again, be careful, this is all really hot. You can see some of that sediment down in there. But it did a pretty good job of grinding the coffee. A few big chunks, but nothing too bad. Okay, so I've done some tests. Now, the more water you brew with this, the hotter it does get a little bit. It just takes a little bit of time. So I brewed this full 16 ounces. I end up with 160 degree. Okay, so the coffee maker is only 600 watts. Okay, let's do some specs, then I'm gonna give my opinion on this. So at the height, it's about 16. You know, it's relatively a small coffee maker. Left to right is about eight and a half. It's meant to be kind of a sideways coffee maker. That way, when you look at it, everything's right there. Two prong cord, it, and it is the cord is three feet long. You know, front to back is about five and a half inches. Okay, so if you've watched my channel long enough, I typically don't say I like or don't like a coffee maker because for some instances, these coffee makers may, may be just right for somebody. So I don't really like to say, oh, this is a terrible coffee maker, you should never buy it. That's not what I'm saying here. But I do see a couple misses, and that again, that's just for me. You know, the travel mug that it comes with, it's just okay. I mean, and it just snaps on there. So yeah, you can travel with it, but it's not gonna prevent a major spill. They're missing the point, I think, with this depth here. Travel mugs need to be about six and a half inches. You just don't have the height there, and there's no way of gaining extra height. So you're really limited. I'm not sure the tray. Uh, most coffee mugs are not gonna fit right there. So the tray and the temperature. So again, the coffee was, you know, you could just pretty much drink it right away. It did have some really good flavor, and I felt like you could make it really strong being able to add a lot more coffee beans and you know not as much water you can definitely you can definitely fine tune the coffee taste that you like with this coffee maker and it again the footprint's not big it's not super loud the beeps are loud i did find the beeps a little loud and it beeps so if you turn it on and then um you forget that it's on it's going to beep like three or four times to turn when it turns off after about a minute you know 70 dollars. this was in stock it was a it was a really big walmart and I saw that normally I don't see Power XL coffee makers in stock at Walmart, but I did see this. That's why I got it because I usually, so if, there, if there's a coffee maker that Walmart carries in stock, they're going to sell a bunch of those coffee makers. And I, I want to buy it, go through it, show people how to use it because there's just going to, I think there's going to be a lot of demand on showing people how to use a coffee maker that's in stock at Walmart. That was my first impression with this. I've had this coffee maker, I think maybe four or five months and I just haven't done the review um, I was a little intimidated by it, but there was actually no reason to be intimidated by it. The next thing I found is, you know, this up here is okay. You know, I felt like when you put your coffee beans in here, having to put the grinder on top of the coffee beans, that was a little tricky. It wanted to stick up a little bit, and then I had to kind of mess around with it a little bit and kind of get it down in there. And this, you know, you definitely can't clean this up right away because all of this gets really, really hot. So, you know, again, um, not saying it's bad, I just want you to be aware of things. 
because being able to brew 16 ounces with freshly ground coffee, that you don't find that a lot. Um, so this is kind of a neat coffee maker in that instance, but your travel mug is going to be limited. Again, let's go over that depth, you know, five and a quarter inches. That's just not real big. And typically your doubles, because travel mugs typically are like, are like your Yetis. They're double wall. So anytime you get that double wall, they're just kind of a little bit beefier and a little bit taller. I, I did think there was a little bit more sediment in here um, than normal. Again, sediment, I'm on the fence about. There's some people don't like sediment, some people do. I think it does add a little bit of flavor to it, but there's no way around it. You, you are going to get sediment. You cannot add a paper filter. You know, maybe you could. Uh, you know, they don't tell you you can't, but maybe you could. You know, this is the metal screen. This is the filter. I mean, maybe you could put a filter down here, something like that. But this this seems well made. I don't, I'm not saying it, it. It seems well made. It's just I think they've missed a few marks. So if this is the coffee maker for you, I will put a link to it in the show description notes. I am seeing it at Amazon, but mainly Walmart. So I am an Amazon and a Walmart affiliate. If you end up click on the link, the product won't cost you anymore. But I will get a small uh, commission from that sale. I bought this coffee maker with my own money and I was not paid for this video. So it's a way of supporting my channel. Again, underneath the video, if you could give it a thumbs up, that really helps out my YouTube channel. Leave it in the comments of what you think about this review. Again, I don't like to say coffee makers. Early on, I would say, oh, this coffee maker is no good. And then in the comments, people would be like, no, this coffee maker serves me really well. The things you highlighted are things I'm actually looking for. So again, that the comments section have really helped me grow my, like, helped me improve my channel. Um, and that's, so in the comments, again, if there's something about this coffee maker that you absolutely love, leave it in the comments because people look at the comments when they're thinking of buying this coffee maker. So that may help that other person. And again, my channel, I really want to help people. So if you buy this coffee maker, I want to show you how it makes coffee. I want to show you, you know, I'm not a coffee taste expert, but I can show you, I can tell you what I think the coffee tastes like. But, but the main thing is you're, you're going to be, you have some variables here that you can control. So that is a nice feature. If you like your coffee really weak, don't add so much coffee, really strong, add more. You're in control of the water amount because whatever water you put in here, that's what it brews. So that part of it, you are in a lot of control of it. Again, really appreciate everybody's support. If you could, please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.